1.6 billion parameter model. Technically, that is smaller than Microsoft celebrated Phi 2. Phi 2 is 2.7 billion parameter model. This is 1.6 billion parameter. It still beats Phi 2 on MT bench. It's a multi turn chat bench. How did this model come to picture? That is what we're going to learn in this video. This is a new model from Stability AI. It's called Stable LM2 1.6 billion parameter model. Now, I don't want this video to be completely about Stability AI or the new Stability AI. If you are like me who is following Stability AI from the old days of when Stable Diffusion were like quite at the top, Stability was always touted to be the company or the open company of equivalent of OpenAI. Everybody thought that, I mean, I at least in my echo chamber social circle, everybody thought that Stability AI led by Imad Mustaq would be the company that would end up creating OpenAI equivalent open source models. But somehow along the way, there were a lot of scoops about Stability AI not making enough money, leadership team leaving and all the other stuff. So it almost seems like today Stability AI's aim is not to create the highest model or the largest model or the most competitive model. Maybe they left it for other companies like Mistral while Stability AI is focusing on two things. One, of course, they want you to buy their membership, the Stability AI membership, so that when you pay the $20 per month, they can let you use the models commercially. So that being said, most of the Stability AI models that we discussed are discussing, will be discussing, are going to be only available non-commercially if you are not paying for the Stability AI membership. The second thing is, it almost seems like Stability AI has done some kind of market research or something and figured out that smaller models or the models that system integrators and consultants can build it for niche audience are going to make help them make more money rather than having the largest model. So they are focusing on that. Either way, I don't have any insider information. This is the new stability AI and I, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Like uh, I'm not associated with them in any ways. And uh, for most of you would probably end up asking, this is not definitely not sponsored by Stability AI. I don't even get like the free $20 uh, membership if uh, you know I have to pay still. So anyways, the point being, it's a new model. Um, it's a very different Stability AI. It's a 1.6 billion parameter model. The good thing about this model is it's a multilingual model. Despite being 1.6, it is available in English, Spanish, German, Italian, French, Portuguese, Dutch. The reason why they have built this model is once again, they want to call this model to be a model that can be available for edge devices. For those who are not familiar with edge devices, these are like tiny devices on which you can deploy these systems. And now you might be wondering why do I need to have edge devices or LLMs running on edge devices? I can probably call the OpenAI API and then get it done. All you need is a computer with internet connection. It doesn't even have to have more than 512, let's say MB of RAM. If that is your thought, maybe you don't understand edge devices as well because on-prem computing, on-premises computing is a huge deal in a lot of industries like healthcare, like finance, like a lot of other industries where data is the holy grail. They don't want to leak the data. They don't want to share the data. They don't have the legal ability to share the data in a lot of cases. And this is one of such cases where they want to say that this model is what you have to deploy on premise on an edge device without internet connection and you can use it and the model is good. And about the model performance in itself that you can see that the stability AI 1.6 billion parameter model that is available at two different versions you can see here. The first one, I think this one and the stable LM2 Zephyr 1.6 billion parameter on an average has scored 49% when you compare it with ARC, LSWAG, MMLU, Truthful QA, Winograde, GSM 8K. Especially with GSM 8K, it, it's a math test. It has scored 35% while you can see Phi, which has scored 54% and every other model is below that. Now, what are the models that they are comparing it against? The 7 billion parameter of Mosaic ML, the Falcon 1 billion parameter model from Abu Dhabi, the tiny Llama, which is like, I don't consider it to be still at the top level of the game. 
and couple of other like open llama models and the other models now how is this model even behaving as good as it is now the reason why this model is as good as it seems is because stability ai has taken a bunch of data sets together and then decided to build this model and those are the data sets you might be surprised to know these are the sft the supervised fine tuning training data sets that they've used ultra chat 200k metamath qa now if you are seeing metamath qa you should probably say okay this is the data set that would have inflated or that would have helped the model increase the score of gsm 8k then you have got open chat share gpt for data set you have got wizard lm evil instruct v2 196k data set in fact the ultra chat 200k helps in empty bench as we know they have got a capybara data set slim orca and data 10k v0 data set and they have done dpo direct preference optimization and for that they have used ultra feedback binarized cleaned up data set from allen ai and the orca dpo pairs from intel so these are the data sets that they have used this is for supervised fine tuning and this is for dpo direct preference optimization and that has ultimately resulted in having stable lm2 zephyr 1.6 billion the name zephyr is here is because they are following the same pipeline of hugging faces zephyr and this is the main data set in that and if you are not familiar there was another model from a company called argila it's called notus which also followed the same set of process only with much more cleaner version of the data set now this model is doing good this model is doing good on a lot of different things they have compared it with the mistral 7 billion instruct v 0.2 the second version model and if you see if you see beyond that stability lm2 zephyr 1.6 billion parameter model is a really decent model as you can see in terms of writings humanities stem not so much to be honest and uh, you can see that there are other places where it kind of overlaps with phi overall it's a smaller model if you want to deploy the model the model is available and um, the model should be technically at this point like i saw a couple of comments where they could not find you in it but technically the model should be available with uh, enough scripts to easily fine tune the model in itself and uh, the point here is that if you want a smaller model that is available for a particular niche i'm not sure how many would actually use the model as it is because that's same thing happening with phi people are mostly interested in fine tuning phi than using phi at its core like at its original form but the same thing goes with this model in itself that has scored 5.42 on mt bench which is kind of just below like a 30 billion parameter model and then you've got like stable zephyr 3 billion parameter model so this model would definitely be good for conversations like having it for agents especially in a hospital setup or somewhere where the data privacy is required if you want to use the model the model is very straightforward for you to use you can use it from transformers from hugging faces model hub there is no limitation of whether you can download the model whether you need sign up it's directly available the only catch is the model is not available commercially if you want to use it for commercial use without the stability ai membership otherwise you can go here play with this model before you like to use the model if you were to pay for the membership i'm not paying for the membership for disclosure but uh, overall i am quite happy to see smaller models are there like when we say smaller models like literally smaller models that can run on uh, decent enough computers without any quantization i'm planning to do like a very good test with this model and something else like a phi 2 or mistral 7 billion just to see how different it would become but overall this is a very interesting direction to see that this is a good model like in fact when they compare it with the quen 1.8 billion parameter model this model still does better than uh, the quen which is like a very popular model from china so overall i'm happy that this model exists i'm still trying to figure out what is the direction the stability ai is taking in this entire ai ecosystem it's a quite a shame that stability is not the open equivalent of open ai because i was like re really rooting for stability but you know um th this is this is what it is let me know in the comment section what you feel about this model and also if you would like to see some kind of testing or uh, if if and when when we have fine tuning option but otherwise see you in another video happy prompting